Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the URL of a SharePoint online site. Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now I am going to go ahead and change the URL of this SharePoint site. Now you can see that the SharePoint site URL is site-a. We're gonna go ahead and change this to site-b just to demonstrate how to do it and then what happens when you try to access the previous URL that you've since updated. Now, in order to change the URL of a SharePoint online site, you do need to access the SharePoint Admin Center. Unfortunately, you cannot do this from the SharePoint site itself. Now, once on the SharePoint Admin Center, you want to click on Active Sites, and you want to search for the site that you would like to update the URL of. Now, I will go ahead and click on Site A, as this is the site that I would like to update the URL of. And once I click on the name of the site, it is going to bring up a menu here on the right hand side. And you can see the URL field and it displays the site URL. Now to update this, you wanna click on edit. And this is going to bring up the edit URL menu. And in order to change the URL, you want to go ahead and enter a new value into the site address field. Now, what's really cool about this menu is that it is going to show you the current URL. And once I go ahead and change the A to a B, it's also going to show you what the new URL will be once you actually commit this change. Now, an important note, there are some limitations associated with changing the URL of a SharePoint site. Now, Microsoft has actually embedded their documentation to outline what the effects are right here on this page. And at the end of this video, I'll quickly skim through some of the important ones. Now I'll go ahead and click save. Now you can see here that the admin center is also going to throw this prompt, which is asking if you would also like to update the site name to reflect the new URL. If you click yes, then it is going to bring you into the site name page where you can actually change it to match the URL or to something different altogether. In this case, I don't wanna do that, so I'm gonna go ahead and click no. And you can see here now that the URL has been updated to reflect the new value that we just entered, which is site B. Now I've gone ahead and I've navigated back to my SharePoint landing page. Now what I'm going to do is quickly paste in the URL of the site. Now this is the original URL, before we changed it. So you can see here it reads site A, and I'm gonna go ahead and press enter. And you can see here that SharePoint automatically redirected me to the same site and to the updated URL. So you can see that it reads site B. So that's a really cool feature when you're changing the URLs for SharePoint online sites. SharePoint is actually going to implement redirects for you so that whenever you or other users try to navigate to the original URL, it just redirects you to the most recent URL. Now I've gone ahead and I've navigated to the documentation that was displayed on the edit a URL menu. I've included the link to this documentation in the description below. Really important for you to come in and read some of the limitations and restrictions when you're changing the URL of a SharePoint online site. Now, really important, you can see right off the bat that you are able to change the URL of the following types of SharePoint sites. So Microsoft 365 group connected sites, modern team sites that don't belong to a 365 group, communication sites, classic sites, etc. Now, there are some instances where you cannot change the URL. And you can see here two of them, the publishing feature is currently activated or was previously activated for the specific site, or if the site itself contains more than 15 million documents. So if you're trying to change the URL and you can't, these might be two reasons that you wanna look into as to why you can't actually go ahead and make this change. Now, if I scroll to the bottom of this documentation, you can see here there's a section called effects of changing a site address, and there are some impacts associated with changing the URL. 
So for example, custom forms that are created in Power Apps, you're actually going to need to recreate the custom form after you change the site address. If the site that you're trying to update the URL for is associated with a hub site, then you're going to need to reconnect or reassociate that site after you update the URL. And there are some restrictions with respect to list view web parts here as well. So again, really important for you to kind of read through this and understand the residual impacts of changing a SharePoint online site URL. So that's it. This was just a quick video showing you how to change the URL of a SharePoint online site. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.